Hi, welcome to my studio. <laughs> we are so excited. Lisa and I are going to be working on a collaborative piece here in my garden. I'd love to hear what Lisa has to say about the description of what we're doing. I think the best part is we don't know what we're doing and <laughs> we, we're going to be doing two pieces at the same time, but only we're setting our timer for 15 minutes. And one is a watercolor block, arches. So we'll be using watercolor and pencil on this one. And then Sandra's is a bristle board, which will um, take acrylic and pastel and charcoal really well. So we're gonna swap them in 15 minutes. And we're just gonna um, create something and then pass it along and then we'll see what the person has created and then we can, we can create something on top of that. So I'm looking forward to seeing what we're gonna do. This is really great. We both don't really have an idea in mind of what, we, what the subject matter is. We just want to uh, uh, start with the base and then build up on each other's creativity. And it's going to be a journey and welcome to the process. And it's going to be messy. It's going to be discovery. <laughs> and we're just gonna have a great time. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, so at the end we're gonna have two masterpieces. Yes. So I have decided to catch the silhouettes that we have in the garden that ha are dropping on the board. I'm seeing these beautiful shadows from the trees above me and I thought I would lock in some light greens where, where I see the shadows. I like going back and forth with watercolor and acrylic and oil. That sounds harmonious. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm getting too bold. Is this we have two minutes. Okay. Actually, we can go longer if you want. No. Because, okay. Whatever you want. Okay, I'm fine. This These colors are just so so strong so pretty I am defining the, the spaces here and I thought I was seeing a bumblebee but now it's turned into a bird and that's okay that's okay with me we've got flight and movement starting to show up just in the black and white. Oh my goodness, that reminds me of Francesco Clementi when he did those fish. Oh. Do you remember that painting? I think so. Oh man, I'm gonna have to show it to you. And I really saw that beautiful light coming through those leaves right there. And um, it creates almost like a lemon yellow effect when it comes through. So I started with lemon yellow, and then I started adding yellow ochre and cat orange, and then I, I like that lime green. I like the edges it creates too when it stops, when the water, when the water stops. I can't wait to see it. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I can't wait to see yours. This is gonna be so fun. That part excites me more than doing this starting you know it's like what is she creating and what what will I see when I look at it yeah. I you... agree it's hard to stay focused <laughs> it's like Christmas I want to put some little shapes on that like I love Gustav Klimt because he always puts these um these geometrical patterns in the backgrounds of his paintings and I just think that that's so beautiful and I just I love that he he meshes the um, portrait or the figure into the background with their dress that is so cute it is kind of like a wonderland up here so you'll hear birds you'll see a, you'll see a tame squirrel running around your hat <laughs> um, you'll see bees and I don't know it's just like it's really inspiring here Artist sanctuary. Yes. So I'm seeing an eye, but it may not be an eye to someone else, but 
I just want to put the shape of it in. I love working wet into wet, which is, um, so you've got your, your water down and a color, and then you drop another color on top and it just bleeds out. And you can, so you can work dry or wet into wet, which is, you never know what it's gonna do. And I feel like it made all these beautiful lines spreading out. Let's see. You're so good with color and mixing color. That is so killer! You see it? I see a bird. I love this. Oh my gosh! This is amazing! Look at this. Here's another one too if you want. Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You're so sweet. Okay, I discovered the sea and the land meeting. So I'm adding the sea right here. Really loosely. I don't I love the abstract that's going on, so I want it to barely look like the ocean here. Beautiful, Sandra. I like all the the marks, like the circles. Thank you. I'm glad you put water in. That's my favorite. <laughs> Gosh, Lisa. It's. I'm leaving most of your charcoal. I love it. <laughs> no, no. Be just, ruthless. Be okay. Ruthless. I'm like. Gosh, I just destroyed your charcoal no, line. No, ruthless is the key. You cannot. No fear. No fear of destruction. That's right. What does Picasso say? <laughs> you have to destroy something to make it beautiful. Absolutely. I don't know if I'm going to destroy this, but I want to. <laughs> like, yeah. You have to like take it down, build it back up, right? I'm adding some water. You can also add a spray bottle if you want to loosen it up a little bit. I like Bristol board, Sandra. Oh, I'm so pleased. It's so fun to work on. In the foreground, if there is a foreground in the abstract. <laughs> that bird you drew is really inspiring me, and I felt like I wanted to make his tail come flip into the picture frame, and then I feel like he turned into part fish. Oh, so love he's it. got fins and he's a part bird. And it kind of mimics this flower because, you know, it's like the way you probably had the flower coming out. So, okay. That was quick. That was quick. Okay. Incredible, Sandra. That's incredible, Lisa. <laughs> I love her face. I want to live that. I know. Here, this one. I, I know. I love this. Oh, Look. the red? Oh. <laughs> That looks like a manzanita. Oh, it does. That's like almost like when it peels off. Mm -hmm. I know. I would like to live there too. Wow. These look like people walking along the bridge. That's so fun. It's like two worlds, right? Yes. You did so much fun. You did. <laughs> that was fun, Lisa. Thank it was you so, so much. Fun. Thank you, Sandra. <laughs> I love painting with you. This gives me more inspiration to do more freestyle painting. Yeah. I mean, just letting it, letting it go. Like not thinking everything has to look What do you think way. about somebody else doing this? Should we encourage others to yes. participate let's, in this kind let's of encourage, <laughs> Let's encourage people. It, it's, it makes you feel alive and free and like you can play like you're a kid again. And like you don't have to know what you're going to do when you're working on something. You can just let it tell you what, tell you what it's going to be. <laughs> How did she get that color? I used a pastel. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I can tell you which one is red. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.